Hey everyone, this is Stephanie at High Tower Stitching. I'm back with part two of a real quilting treat. The quilt that I like to think the flying geese meet the pinwheel. And this is the completion of the project. So I'll share with you the quilt and tell you some of the things I did with a border and then how I did my quilting. Please stay tuned. And if you remember, the basic block had a half triangle square block. I called them sub blocks. Then had a flying geese block. That was number two. And then the other half square tri uh, half triangle squares you had left made the center pinwheel that everything fit into. And this is my finished quilt. It's for 55 and a half by 40. It has two borders, the white border, the green border. The white border is one and three-fourths inches finished, and the green border is two and a half inches finished. And as you come up to it, you can start to see the patterns that I used. Uh, I have to turn over the green so you can see that little one on there. But the prettiest thing to me was the green, and I didn't want to do anything that would detract from that. So I just did a little stitch in the ditch right around the edge of each of those. And they all flowed together, so it wasn't a lot of stop and starting. And then I looked at it, and the white looked really nice, but I thought, you know, I think I can do something that'll hopefully do something that'll make the green show up and will tone the, the white down. And I just did some simple loops. If you look in this corner, you can see how I finished the loops in the corner. And then I did the orange peel in the squares. And all of the rest of them, except the two big ones, have those loops. And they're so fun. And this pattern let you just feed from one block to another, doing a triangle or doing a square and into another triangle. Uh, you could keep going. And it's one of those that once you keep going, you're done and you didn't even know how far you had come because you didn't have to uh, break your thread very often. And then the two whites were different. The white squares, you'll see that there were a couple of the green squares, three, and between those were white. And so I said, I'm just going to go back and do one of those neat little filler flowers that starts with that little hook in the middle and then you add to the outside. And that's really a nice feel. And then the back... I ended up finding a material that had um, little leaves in it. And they were green. And the background, which I thought was a little green, was actually pretty gray. So when I picked the thread for the back, I actually ended up with a nice gray uh, color. And you can see that on there. And where I was going was the edge. There they are. If you look, you can see the little things, and then there was a little loop, and then another little flower. And this is one of those that I had copied and put in my book to use at a later date. So this was a good project. All the way from the beginning to the end, the pieces went together so well, and then the blocks went together so well. And this was a two by three. The other one I said was a two by six. This is a two by three block. And then if you remember the one from the magazine, it is one that's got 13 blocks and they're sort of uh, turned. This is Stephanie at High Tower Stitching. And I always want you to know that you can make a quilt and that it can turn out really pretty, and then it's what you put into it that you get out of it. Thank you for watching. If I have any notes, I'll put those in the descriptions. If this was helpful, please subscribe and hit like, and uh, leave a comment if you want to. Thank you.